Keeping active and doing exercise is good for bones and it helps to keep them strong. But what isn't always known is that too much exercise, often called over-exercise, can be bad for the skeleton and actually increase the risk of osteoporosis and broken bones. Elite dancers and elite athletes with a desire to perfect their performance can be at risk. But anyone doing extreme amounts of exercise can risk weaker bones. Now, this isn't because exercise causes direct damage or injury to the bones in some way, but because your bones aren't getting the hormones and the nutrients they need. So what's going on? Well, the problem for bones occurs when you aren't getting enough calories, that's energy, for the amount of exercise you are doing. This might be intentional, you're restricting your food intake, or unintentional, with demands of training simply outstripping the amount of energy you are getting from the food that you're eating. Second, and really important, a low body weight as a result can lead to reduced levels of sex hormones, mainly oestrogen in women and testosterone in men. These hormones are really important for bone health, so losing that protection can harm your skeleton. And thirdly, poor nutrition can mean your bones just aren't getting the nutrients they need. It's worth saying too that sometimes anorexia nervosa and over-exercise can be linked, with some people prone to restricting their intake of food as well as doing excessive amounts of exercise. If you think any of this applies to you, then do have a think about changes you can make to help get everything back in balance. This may mean reducing the exercise levels that you're taking or increasing food intake or both. And if you think you need help, especially if you've lost weight and menstrual periods have stopped, which is often a sign of low oestrogen in women, then do seek advice from your doctor or from the medical advisors within your sports specialty, if that, refer, if that is appropriate for you. Over-exercise can affect the bones of both men and women, so recognising and tackling the problem to protect bone health is important for everyone.